Hey, good afternoon. Sorry, Major Clark again here with another PT video. However, this one's a little bit different. I want to reach out to the cadets specifically for Marine Corps Junior ROTC and issue a challenge. Many of you joined the PT team and I earlier this year for the 17.75 mile challenge that we ran in honor of the Marine Corps birthday. I want to use this opportunity for our time off in the quarantine for us to get out get about and get some miles on our feet. So I talked to Major Antilly last night and we're going to go ahead and issue you another challenge. The challenge that we're going to try to take advantage of during this time off is the Afghanistan Operation Enduring Freedom 17.9 mile challenge. So here's how it works. Uh, these challenges are virtual. So I'm going to go through a couple of ways that you can track your progress. But let's talk about the event and what we would be supporting uh, by taking advantage of this challenge. Let's start off by talking about what Enduring Freedom. Enduring Freedom is the uh, military moniker, uh, the mission name, if you will, for the war in Afghanistan. The war in Afghanistan started uh, shortly after the towers went down in 2001, and it's still going on today. Uh, the war in Afghanistan is the longest war in U.S. history. So why is the challenge uh, 17.9. We're going to make it 18 miles. Uh, at the time that this race was launched last year, U.S. Armed Forces had been involved in the war in Afghanistan, aka Operation Enduring Freedom, for 18 years. So we're going to top this challenge off at a, and round it off at 18 miles. Over 200, I'm sorry, over um, 20,000 American service members have been either killed or wounded in action during this war. So, how do we get started? Number one, I need an email. I need you to send me an email to my Skyward account, I'm sorry, to my school account from your Skyward account uh, to let me know that you want to accept this challenge. You can put whatever you want in the subject line, but make sure it says something to the effect that I accept your challenge and who the cadet is. I'll take all these emails, round them up, compile them, and send them to our PT team captain, Cadet Sneed, and have her compile a list of those that are going to take me up on this challenge. The next thing I need you to do is download a running app. Now, the two apps that I use are the Nike Run app or the Under Armour app. So if you take a look at the screen here, I'm going to first talk about the Nike app. These two are the ones that I would prefer you use, one or the two of these. They're very easy, they're free. All you gotta do is download them to your phone and uh, as long as you got a GPS signal, it will track your run and your miles. It'll give you your heart rate, it'll give you your speeds, your times, your distances, etc. So you can go to your activity when you're done and it'll tell you how many miles you've run. Since I downloaded this app recently, I'm looking at what, 370.4 miles. So you can reset these apps from zero and then start all over. You can bring this app in with, uh, I'm sorry, on your phone with your track record in the roster. What we'll do is when we get back, I'll have you and uh, the cadet PT team captain sit down and we'll figure out uh, who accepted the challenge and then who actually completed it. And this app will be your proof that you completed it. But I need you to make sure that when you are setting up this challenge, that you're accepting this challenge, that you start it on today's date. Today is March 28th, the day we were supposed to be running our terrain race 5K obstacle course, which got canceled. So there's another way that you can do it if you don't want to just go through regular runs, you can actually set up a challenge. So if you take a look here on the Nike app, it has challenges that you can set up. Um, I got a poor signal in here in the house, but it'll self-guide you on how to set up a challenge. And you can invite other cadets to accept your challenge via text message or email, and they can join this app with you and you can compare notes. The other app that I use is the Under Armour app. Now this one, uh, I deleted it and then downloaded it again. So it started fresh from zero and then Under Armour also has an opportunity for you to track your workouts, log workouts, routines, and then activity feed is where you're gonna keep track from day one where you start from zero and work your way up to 18 miles, or you can start with a challenge 
and you can set up a challenge, invite, you can create it, you can invite other people into it, and that's yet another way for you to track zero to 18 miles. Like I said, this is gonna be the proof in the pudding when you come back in, whenever it is we do get back to school, to show me, hey, Star Major, I sent you that email and I've accepted your challenge. I need both of those so that we can uh, determine who did and did not complete this challenge. So where do we run at? Well, you can run all over the place. You can run on trails. Uh, you can hit up one of the greenways that are in and around a lot of the subdivisions here in Mount Juliet. I would recommend hitting up a lot of these local parks like Charlie, ba Charlie Daniels over by Sonic. Uh, there's Robinson Park in Mount Juliet. You can park right behind Dairy Queen and hit the loop around Robinson's Park. You can head down to Providence. There's uh, Sergeant uh, Jerry Monday Memorial Park down there that you can run whenever, wherever, it's up to you. But we've got plenty of time to get this done. We are rolling back to school on Monday the 27th, I believe, which gives us a handful of weeks. You can knock out one mile a day and still have time uh, on the back end to get it done. You could run every other day for two miles. It's up to you to figure out how many miles a day you want to put on your feet, but as long as you've got that challenge completed when we come back, um, no cheating. All right, integrity is the key. Here's what I don't want to happen. I don't want you to put this on your arm and then jump on your bicycle and then pedal away saying, yay, I did 18 miles when you didn't, you pedaled away. I don't want you to jump in the car with your mom, turn the app on where you're going to run errands or getting groceries and saying, yay, I ran 18 miles in one direction from your house to Publix. And it don't work like that. There are features on both of these apps, which is why I want you to use the Nike one or I want you to use the Under Armour one that when you bring it in to me it will show me how fast you were going, how long you were going, what your heart rate was, the whole nine yards. So if you ran 18 miles in one day and there's no heart rate, then you're probably a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So download, download one of those two apps and uh, make, sure that, uh, make sure you turn it on before you take off running so you're not wasting time. So a couple of things that we'll do when we get back, and it depends on how long it takes for us to... Uh, get back and get settled in, but we're gonna to look to issue the virtual race medals and or assign leadership points to your grade. So get the word out. I'm gonna send this out via text message to the cadet leaders. I'm gonna post this on my webpage. I'm gonna put it, uh, I'm gonna ask Mr. Beach, Mr. Peach to put it on BNN and, uh, and get you and I, your mom, your dad, your little brother, your little sister, out of the house, uh, social distance from other runners, but get out to the parks, get out on, in the neighborhood and put some miles on your feet. And in the end, like our 17.75 mile challenge, when we purchase these medals, uh, all of the donations will go to a military charity. So we'll kill three birds with one stone. Number one, you get out of the house. Number two, you'll gain leadership points on your grade. And number three, uh, volunteer service for charity. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll get this out as soon as I can. Send me those emails accepting the challenge. We had about 20 or 30 on the 1775 mile challenge. I'm expecting more on this one. So get off your butt, get out there, log in some miles, Send the stuff to, to me, send the stuff to Snee, and I can't wait to see you back. Keep an eye out for the next couple of days. I'm going to push more PT car training and P, uh, physical training videos out to you. And here's what I also need. I need y'all, let me back up here. I have never been a social media or a how many views kind of guy. That stuff's never been a big deal to me until yesterday when I got challenged by Principal Johnston to see how many likes or views or whatever. So I'm gonna ask Mr. Peach to put this on BNN, get this video out to our cadets, get every cadet to like it or tag it or smiley face it or put a heart by it or whatever you need to do and, uh, and get as many views as possible for no other reason for me to rub it into Mr. Johnson's face. All right, I love you guys and uh, I'll see you out in the parks.